and lovely Chicago traffic. We are headed about four hours south on a mystery trip to a mystery place. Actually, it's for a music concert, but we're also visiting some friends on the way. So let's get to it. The warp speed, three hours. Well, we got through the worst of it. We only got uh, three hours to go, so no more major major traffic delays. A lot of construction by O'Hare and around Chicago. Uh, but smooth sailing from here. Pretty excited. Hope you guys are too. I lied. More construction. More road closures. More lane closures. I hate construction. It takes so long and it's always happening everywhere. We're almost there, but there's more construction, lane closures, all sorts of stuff. 16 minutes, 16 minutes. Slow going, and it's kind of getting into rush hour now, so not going to get any better before it gets worse. I'm not even going to say it. Just a line of cars. In a roundabout, no less, with more cars waiting to get there. Just need to elaborate a little bit on this. So this is the second roundabout, and right past the roundabout there's a stoplight. And it's not, it's just fixed. I don't know if it's temporary or, uh, it's just it's like a timed light. There's no traffic delay or anything. I'm trying to go right at the roundabout, but we can't because it's like a five minute traffic light. And then everyone behind us is still sitting by the freeway. So this is like a 15 minute process to off ramp to run one roundabout, two roundabouts. I'm just trying to go that way. So just venting, annoyed, irritated. It's supposed to have been there by now, but I've been waiting 10, 15 minutes to get through this. America! We've arrived. Fat house fabrication, y'all. Woo! What's up, dude? What's going on? That old man I'm on camera? My man. I did the raid for built a new shop and moved, moved everything out there. I was going to go equipment or whatever, but I'm going to, that little machine shop area is going to get kind of condensed over in this area, and we're going to put a garage door in. Oh, nice. Look there, and put another hood there, so we'll have a drive on and a two-part hood. We'll leave this garage door on the floor. Oh, if you saw on Facebook, all the different stuff we got, but we got a CNC fiber laser. Pretty sweet. Right now. So, we do all of our blank cutouts now for all of our... Uh, super nice, see if you right? This truck is real accurate. Both of these are real accurate. Like, these new lasers, uh, that thing's accurate to like 4,000 over, for like, hole spacing over the uh, spread of the sheet. This is 80 ton uh, CNC control press that as we run it, like, these gauge fingers are moved. Yeah. So if I can through your... Uh, different steps, like if something's got five or six steps in it, a bending or whatever, you just set up multiple stages and just bend and it'll go the juke around, bend, go the juke around, and give you all your uh, back weight. Uh, you can do like anything, anything custom radius. So that's all what we call butt bending. So I can basically program, I can draw it with whatever radius I want, and then when I bring it over here, all I gotta do is program how many hits I want see all those lines then it's a hit so you can do the math 20 bends 90 degree angle blah 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 whatever radius you want and then you got it like in here where that beam is to kind of separate the welding area kind of room off this area and room off the two little probably not all the two lanes of the wall like kind of box things off dry some cool openings made that some board the whole thing Form it and bend it, cut everything right over there. 
Weren't you looking at trying to sell this place and move somewhere else? Yeah, we did, we did for years. And that's why we left doing the construction here. We tried to buy it. It was a kind of cobble together shit show in place anyway, so hindsight is probably Usually is better yeah. for us, you know. I should work, so but we just built this whole place new. Got the alignment equipment stuff, but we didn't have any of that stuff before. Another mechanic, one of them's got a mustache, one doesn't. <laughs> Basically, everything we do gets the engine's taken out of it, they get the whole subframe taken out of it, so they need a line. Everything is a tire package, so I mean, we're like. Mm -hmm. Archer Boyd dealer, <laughs> basically. Like, yeah, I remember that little wooden building used to have back here. Look, yeah. 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 shop puppy. One of the X trucks. There's two checks trucks in the shop, but basically all three fifties or five hundreds or this is a custom project or whatever. Uh, we don't do too many of them. This is a repeat customer. Yeah. Uh, but we're doing a, a twin turbo GT350 engine. Cooling tanks we make over there and supercharger. Expansion tank and stuff. Came a long way since DSM, that's for sure. Thank you. Little <laughs> <laughs> so electrical stock room and stuff. We always make little wire harnesses and uh -huh. jumper harnesses and stuff or whatever. Nice and cool in here too. Yeah, we find a boat shop air condition. So these are all customer cars. That's actually on their spot we lose the car around a lot of airports. Uh, that's the fastest car in the half mile. Effectively, I went like 210 or 212 or something that thing last year. Fastest yeah. GT350. And uh, somebody just beat us the fastest Mustang period in half mile. Yes, but whatever. It's the fastest GT350 in a quarter mile. It's been uh, 758 or something like that. 750s. Yeah. Minus my car, so this would be the second fastest one. <laughs> yeah. I got a Everything from those uh, plants forward is us. So you can see the welding. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And then what, so what rear rear section is that? Uh, stainless works. Oh, so it's, it's like an off-the-shelf off something you can buy. Okay. That's uh, for these cars. This is the 500, so this is DCT. That's the seven-speed DCT. So they're good up until a certain power, horsepower point? Yeah, or? I mean that other one was making 14 or 15 or whatever, like. Or 1200 and below, they're, they're real. I mean, that's, I mean, that's stock transmission. So, I mean, it's amazing we can do anything that good, period, or whatever. But, yeah. 12 horsepower car is pretty solid with our tune in it. Before, anyway. Like, we make our own. See the intercooler pipe snake over? Yeah. Uh, so, we make our own coupler up here that is a. A silicone coupler that, mo that molds around the AC compressor and the side of the K-member. So we bring both intercooler pipes up and then into one. Nice. It's pretty slick. And you can still keep AC up to a certain point, or oh, never take it, never take it out. Sure, yeah. Yeah. The the beauty with this kit, I'll show you what one outside that's down. Uh, this is a, a GT500, so they're factory supercharged cars. So they already had a heat exchanger in the front of it. They already had heat exchanger pumps and stuff or whatever. Like from this part part of the car forward, we don't touch it all. So you keep your air conditioning, AC's in the same spot, condenser, compressor, radiator, hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Like. I mean, do that point, we don't we don't modify the car whatsoever. Everything gets bolted on to the bracket. That's the pump. Motex up in the fender well. Everything everything in here has a Motex on it. Right in there. Oh, yeah. 
Hmm. <laughs> the giant brakes. Oh, yeah. They're huge. Yeah, the drive pack's like an engine that you that pocket. <laughs> It just comes up one intercooler pipe comes right up through there so we don't nothing gets modified here forward like this is it's like we have our own hoses made so this is one inch hoses where the factory hoses are three quarter but it's still and like it looks routes. factory even yeah we wrap much. them in we get all this stuff to wrap them so you want you know black clamps like we we wire in like we buy extra uh fuse boxes and stuff or whatever like we get all and so we can add terminals and relay uh, relays to the factory box so like you don't see any wiring you don't see any extra wiring for the, any of the pumps or any 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 power taps whatsoever <laughs> are hidden now like a red fuse wire exactly. off the battery like like it's, it's up underneath really... the fuse panel yeah we even we found the distributor for the factory electrical tape nice it's like a cloth tape we wear that shit in bulk so like you can't tell but this car made 1400 Spare turbo car. Does it normally come with all the carbon stuff, or is that like a package or add-on or That's a package? Market? Yeah, the splitters and stuff, or whatever. Yeah, you can get a carbon track pack car that have like carbon wheels and carbon parts on it, but not this much carbon. Yeah. And not all the carbon inside. Hopefully that's factory. Yeah, everything, wheel, the dash. Yeah. All the trim. We do the roll. We make the roll bar. Fucking rare. They like see him around anymore, or whatever. My friend got a spirit. He picked up a spirit. Okay. Like the RG, the one with the turbo motor. Yeah. Three motor. Yep. Nice. Those are real rare. Like the motor head on and stuff. We did a couple twin turbo 350s because they're that customer shipped them out to Shelby, got wide bodied. Yeah. And we ended up doing like four of those. To get on, that's how we got on the radar in the first place. When the 500s came out, we kept approaching them to let's do something cool with them or whatever. So the 500s are factory supercharged car. It makes like 700 factory, 650 power, some shit. Uh, so we do all the drivetrains to get our intake manifold on it. So this, this is a 500. So like, this is a manifold. Around uh, the factory charger. So, this is like throttle bodies in the OEM location, all wirings in the OE location, all the sensors uh, plug right in, all the brake booster hoses. Like, take the blower off, put our intake manifold on, hook shit up, turn the car on. So, like, uh, the Shelby Code Red one says, uh, like Shelby Code Red powered by Fat House, nice. engraved in it. And then we'd use a different one for the standard customer cars or whatever. but. The code red stuff gets our, we, we build the motor, gets this package in it, turbo kit, this intake manifold, uh, Motec, etc. 12 horsepower, flex fuel, all the safeties or whatever. And they do, then Shelby does the white box. To the top, it comes out both sides. Like it has two little build up manifolds welded on here. So water in and up and out. Instead of water coming in like opposite sides of the flow. Yeah. So. Nice. Else for packaging, we've made uh, 18 and some change with that intake. I made that power level. I'll probably just try to make more than that because they're doing custom stuff because they just get big. But that car that we raised a half mile in, the white one has that same intake on it. It makes 18 and 15 or something. So you just get. Before they do the body kit and you do the engine, mm -hmm. is it just like a factory car? Yeah, they come bone stock. They come, most of them come. Uh, we get a lot of them that come before the dealer even uh, preps them. Okay. 
come with like fucking shifting blocks and shit in them, you know, like. Yeah. But that's code red. So that's what it looks like. That's got our optional drag pack on it, because we took that car racing. That thing on. And you can just order these, like go online and... No, they're, they sold out. We, we did a run of 30. Oh, that was it? Mm -hmm. We did. We did a run of 10 for a model year. That's what they released at Woodward last year. And they sold all 30 of them in a couple hours. I don't believe it. And this, what year is this one? I don't know. Oh, yeah, the same. 20 to 22. Nice. Here's my new puppy. Here's my old puppy. Hi, Molly. She found a pipe for me. Oh, did she? Did you? Yeah. puppy. Yeah, you buddy outside. We don't really do like walk-in work or drop-in work, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and city space was just turned into inventory. So that's why you weren't excited about that uh, ES300 manifold thing project oh it has just already get any kind of like to get custom work in disrupts the whole yeah production <laughs> flow mm -hmm. of the shop or whatever which slows the mechanic down a bit. so what's like the lead time for like if someone wants mustang stuff like what if they dropped it off today for like a package yeah yo trevor what's uh what's our lead time for different packages Probably booking in October, mid October, right? Yeah. Ish. Usually eight weeks out at least. Yeah. This is all set up so we take all on display when we go to a trade show or whatever. Oh, so yeah. We see, actually see it put us all installed on car. Nice. Little monster. So, like, when you make this, is it it's a standard core of some sort? Or they make it for us. They make it for us. Then how do you know like it's ideal or perfect or can cool enough for the application? Uh, Is there any kind of like? Well, they they can customize. Once you once you customize the core size, you can also customize your tube, oh, and fin okay. assembly or whatever. So we we worked through a couple of prototypes. I mean, I have three or four different. Nice. It's probably the fourth revision of tubes until we were real happy with the balance between pressure drop and yeah, cooling and, all that. and so forth or whatever. Nice. There's a bunch of pilots in here. We sell Evo cash cans and, and uh, this. We make them in a run of like a hundred at a time, and they take they last forever. They last a while or whatever, but like we sell that little mount for uh, Evo for yeah for Evo eight or nine. That mounts over over the transmission. Oh yeah, okay. Where the battery would go, yep. and then you could buy an Evo 10, uh, like fuse relay box, a uh, block here or whatever, and put your battery in the back without hanging up your wiring real bad. Nice. But we started making that in the old shop. Power steering? Or is that cool? No, it's a so? supercharger reservoir. Uh, it's just the PV is the pressure check. So these are SY50 fuel tanks, these are supercharger reservoirs. All this stuff is staged to go get powder coated and then it'll come back and get processed some for different. Like this part we actually uh, but we sold the a good amount of these the parts, but this is like an S five fifty uh seat mount. So this bolts to the factory floor mm -hmm. and then this will bolt to it. It gives you like definite adjustability to mount Kirkies or Nice. In the aftermarket race car seat, but like that, that thing's got nine bins in it. You know, we used to get we used to have to have outsource the whole part. So by the time you get everything here, then all I did was weld it and ship it. Like we made a little bit of money on it. Right now, we make like an eight times the money. I mean, I pay for laser, but yeah. and I can make them in house. I can make them. Hey, we need we need a button. Bring them out. Together, the billet core is on them, and then we, then we we get it as a core, and then we weld all the stuff on it. Nice. And then the rest of it bolts together. But 
We do everything in batches, like bump tubes, headers, intercoolers, all the, the air-to-air intercoolers. I have a little one for a while, for like a 350. Do those in batches, and they're all billet tanks uh, now as well. And Garrett, this is a this is a new size intercooler from Garrett. So you're welcome. We can, everybody can order from Garrett, but we had to make them for us because we don't want them size wide. But then these are just parts for inventory parts and take manifold stuff. Basically, we have stuff that we can build a whole kit. So like. Like all of these would be drop shelves. They had a keyboard on them. And then the guys, Trevor and Sicily basically, would fill it up with parts. So mm -hmm. when this car is here, by the time this car is here, that person's shelf will have headers, turbo, intake manifold, hoses, connectors, fittings and hoses, you know, like all the fittings that they need in a bag, fuel rails, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So they could just like, Pull a shelf out there, build a car, without fucking like. I need this to fit in. I need yep. this fucking. Missing this, missing that. Go run twice. back and find it. Dig in the boxes and. Stuff. But we're actually getting ready to. Hi Molly, what are you doing in here? Uh, what Johnny's finishing cleaning out out here. These rooms have always been here. We kind of used this room before, but. We still don't have that much inventory. Come on, Molly. That's a good puppy. Show that up, Will. We didn't do anything back here or whatever, so that that wall's gonna stay. Yeah. And then these two walls are whole section getting demoed and knocked out. Demoed and knocked out, and we're gonna build like a basically as big as we can per code or whatever. I think it equals like a 50 by 54 or something. Mm -hmm. I think this building will be Johnny, 50 by 54. It'll be... It'll come out to about like here and then go back to about 10 foot from like the point that fits. And it'll be 10 foot from the building, from the existing building, move back and then like I said here, out that way. Just kind of basic. For now, it's just going to be a still building. Uh, not much going on in it. It's a bit of just storage, car storage. We actually have, like I say, when we do the car to Shelby, there's still 30 of them. They ship them in eight or 10 at a time. We got to pull motors out of them. We ship the motors out to get built. And then we got to do something with the car where the guys are still doing other stuff or whatever. So we have a, a building off site that being rented right now. Just full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> cars got a truck fucking 20 cars in it and overflow nice. stuff. Yeah. Uh, baffles and stuff inside. The factory GT500 pump. The factory GT500 pump and pickup uh, is the best of any of the stuff we've seen. Well, that's it thanks to Jeremy for the tour checked out a lot of cool stuff cool cars if you're a Mustang fanatic come visit come get your car built here this is the place to go Bad House fabrications performance thanks for watching till next time later